sure. It, it was absolutely crystal clear that uh, in, would you say, most cases, that taking people, re reducing the amount of antipsychotic medication that they were on, uh, or taking them off the medication completely, did not result in uh, an increase in um, problematic responsive behaviors. In fact, it resulted in a decrease of, of such behaviors. Is that so, correct? So at the end of our third quarter, so we had data from a baseline to three quarters. That's what was avail is available to us at this point. We saw a 54% um, discontinuation and reduction of the antipsychotics. Um, and in that 20% reduction in falls, uh, one third decrease in verbal and physical behaviors, and then 20% decreases in resistance to care. So, so yeah, from the data that we had for that time period, that's what we were observing. So big part of it for the homes now that they're using the data is to keep their eye on those other indicators and make sure and see that they're either going down or not increasing. The main thing was not to see them increase and we didn't see them increase and in fact, for the time period of data that we had, we saw them decrease. So it's kind of, it's over the homes now that the collaborative is complete to pay attention, not just to whether or not they're the inappropriately prescribed residents are off the drugs, but that they're now other indicators of, of, of challenging or, or difficult behaviors of falls, et cetera, aren't increasing. So that's, a, that's an important part of the training and of the indicators to look out for.